Okay, here I am trying to figure out where to fold my uh, headliner uh, to create a nice hem to give it a proper transition from the door to the A pillar. In this step here, I left the last uh, gripper closest to the A pillar uh, open to tap it down uh, after I fold my headliner to make sure that the beginning of the hem in the liner it's a pinch against the uh, clipper so that it won't unfold uh, with a time when it's uh, aging. In this clip I'm using painter's tape to mock up my final line uh, and have a better visualization as to where I want my transition from the door to the A pillar so that uh, I can fold my headliner and make the hem to that line. I'm going to do the same thing over there up to the middle. I am going to find the center draw a little line just to know exactly to how far I need to go down. It's going to go up to right there. here I took Frankenstein visors temporarily and install them here they need to be clean just so i could like poke the holes where the uh, visor is installed if i measure from this edge right here it's about 10 and a half so going from here right here about Right there. Here I am trying to do the same thing that I did over at the passenger side. Where if I go from here, from here to there? This for now. So we're going to cut our flats here so we can fold the liner up that way. So we're going to let that tack for about a minute and a half to two minutes because it's getting cold outside and it's taking longer for it to tack. Okay, so now we are going to move inside the car and work C pillars and the rear window. Um, if you notice, my my bend visors are filthy and dirty because they are from Frankenstein, uh, and I just pulled them out so I could um, mark the holes where the bolts and the uh, connections for the bend visors go, or otherwise later on it would be harder to find them. This is 
the part that you all have been waiting to see where I screw up the headliner. Okay, let's see how this goes. So I just spray the edge of the rear of the window in the seat pillar and at the rear uh, windshield. So we're gonna let we're gonna let that tackle for a minute and uh, then proceed to install it. Notice how in this corner now I have the uh, quarter uh, passenger side installed and it's fine, uh, everything is fine, uh, even up to the uh, C pillar and the rear window, everything is fine, but then something happened to me and I messed it up, so keep on watching. I think that I just mess up my quarter panel pet lighter. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the flow um, and maybe I'll just have to come up with a fix for it because at this point I'm not taking all this headliner down and replacing it for a new one. There's no way. So I'll just come up with a plan B. Um, we'll see. I'm not sure yet but I have a feeling that I cut this section here and I did not need to do that but as is right now I guess I'll just have to fold this here and tuck it right there it's so hard to get a straight line here it's almost 9 p.m. 10 minutes till 9 and I'm still working here it seems like this corner here has taken me longer to work than any other part of the headliner in the car. I caught a little piece from here and I'm pretty sure that I didn't need to do that so I'm just gonna go with it like that. I'm gonna go ahead and spray glue on this corner here and just fold that down. Also running out of spray. So I have the uh, quarter uh, corner here of the uh, a C pillar and the rear window done. I had it wry until for some odd reason, I don't know what got into me, I decided to cut this extra piece here and I ruined that corner. So I'm gonna have to come up with a fix because at this point, definitely I'm not going to take this whole headliner out and redo it so I'll come up with a fix um, I have a couple of ideas and I will share with you my ideas when I put them into practice okay but anyway I'm gonna move on to now work on the other corner but um, looking here just um, so you know what was my mistake I had a piece that was extending out about to right here and for some odd reason, it got into me to trim this piece here and caught it off. And I forgot, brain fart, that this portion down here in the rear of the car is going to be covered by a carpet. So learn from my mistake. If you are installing a one-piece uh, headliner, 
you'll have an extra piece sticking out this way. Do not cut it off, okay? That's it right there for now. I'll go now uh, outside and trim these edges right here so that I can glue them and do the same here. And then I gotta figure out how I'm gonna fix that so then I can tackle this uh, B pillar right here. All right, let's see how I am going to come up with a, a good idea to fix that and make that look uniform. Okay, so now we let that tack. Um, there are some wrinkles. I gotta go get another battery. Okay, um, stop this right here. Okay guys, so here we are. This is the uh, final uh, product. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it was a challenge, but I, and uh, I dare, and I tackled it, right? So, let me show you where I did the fix. Uh, if I don't tell, maybe nobody's gonna uh, notice, but um, if you look here in this corner, uh, this piece of uh, headliner um, is already pre-cut and you have to do a fall at the end to make a nice hem to give it a nice finish. The part I screwed up was where this corner here, this piece when you install it extends about this far. So when you're installing it, if you're installing a one piece headliner and you're gluing it to the edge, that's gonna be sticking about right up to here. Do not cut it off. That's my, that was my mistake. I had it right at first, but I had it right at the beginning at first, but for some odd reason, I ended up cutting it. You saw the video. But anyway, my fix was that I grabbed an extra piece of the remnants that I had. I fold the edges to give it a nice hem and then I glued that piece here and then I did the same on both sides uh, to make it look uniform as if it was meant to be like that. Um, so I did whatever I did here I duplicate the work on that corner over there. Uh, and then I forgot to record it because I was so into it trying to figure out what to do to make it look nice. Uh, but anyway, here also at the window, uh, I am going to dare to say that this is the easiest uh, that this is the easiest uh, part by far in the headliner installation. Uh, and this piece here, uh, there are two pieces that come in your kit. Uh, they are about seven or eight inches wide by 24. You want to find here where you want to end. And then you want to take your long strip and fold it uh, to make that hem. And then here you want to determine how far down this way you want to come with it to have full coverage. In my case, I use the... Um, the back seat latch, uh, so I like aligned it on both uh, sides the same way. So I repeat whatever steps I did here on the other side. But that's pretty much it. I mean, 
To be my first uh, headliner installation in a sedan, I think it came out pretty neat. I'm pretty happy with the end result. So now we installed the windows and we move on to do the uh, carpet installation and then the seats. Um, I was grateful to have these uh, visors because the ones that I have, uh, for some reason, they were uh, the end connection right here. They were C's and they were not allowing me to maneuver and install them in any proper manner. Uh, it's good to install these as you are installing this so that you can uh, find your uh, screw connections and your hole openings to stick the whatever rod uh, it's sticking through there. I still have to install my rear view mirror but I have a little piece of tape right where I need to cut out, out my opening so that should be no problem. Okay folks, so that's it for right now. I hope you enjoy the contents of the video and my little bloopers uh, there. Um, if this is the first time that you're watching my channel and you like the contents of my video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until then, this is Junior with the classic VW Bucks and Sunny the Super Beetle Junior out.